attending a golf outing with a couple of colleagues out in Long Island and the kids from Dare to Be and a couple of the folks were there and uh, it was they were one of the charities that were that money was being raised for. I was lucky enough to be in New York City and get to visit one of the sites and meet a bunch of the kids and I actually met a one of the children with Roxana who had uh, graduated the program and was so excited to see her and see what they were doing you know, so it was uh, kind of drew me in. The, I think the appreciation for, for how the kids react to what they're doing, the, the fact that they're filling a gap or a void that's not out there. Um, and, and growing up, I came from a big family, I, you know, I worked at the YMCA's and, and that kind of resonated with me when Roxana and Julia were explaining to me that the, the, um, the gap between the after school programs and, and school and really what they were doing for the kids and, um, and, and really I think getting to meet the kids and, and actually visit one of the, one of the sites um, allowed me to really kind of embrace it. What's nice is I, I own a small manage, management consulting firm, so we're not this big organization that can write big checks, but you know, with all the different events that they do, there's always an opportunity to do something as small as buying a case of water or a case of chocolate milk to giving a dollar amount. Um, and, and I think that that approach has, makes it easier for the sponsors, large and small, to just make, an, you know, make it a difference. And I think that you know, any amount makes a difference. And I think that I think that the staff and the volunteers all appreciate that as well. I just looked at the video of bicycle being given to those young kids and just, when I saw them just from my visit a few years ago and how they reacted and how excited they were to have someone new and coming in to talk and, and you, you realize what they're, you know, what they don't have, but then when they get the least little thing, how, how appreciative they are of it. And, and hopefully it's one of those things that giving it forward because it's one of the easiest things to do. The organization is set up with so many volunteers that you know that I think better than 90% of your money, if not more, is going to help the individuals, help these kids, as opposed to if you give it to a lot, another charity, there's so many in the administrative costs and you don't really feel the direct effect of, of what you're doing, whereas with Dare to Be, I think you are. I, I think it's just knowing that I'm, I'm doing something, you know, as, as, as small as it is as compared to what everybody else is doing, I think I, I just feel, I think inside I just, I just feel the satisfaction that I'm doing something as opposed to saying, you know, maybe one day. You know, I live in New Jersey, so to to, to actively be involved in the sense of, of being able to go and, and uh, be there at events and stuff, I, I can't do that. But I think that you know, being able to, when it's needed, you know, give to something, I think that's important.